Imagine a world of perpetual night. A world where life thrives without sunlight. A world hidden deep beneath the surface of the sea. 1977, the Galapagos Rift off the coast of South America. A chain of volcanoes along the sea floor intrigues geologists. A team sets off in a submarine to look for underwater hot springs called hydrothermal vents. They are completely unprepared for what they will see when they turn on the lights. Dozens of creatures totally new to science. An entire ecosystem completely unknown before. Looking for vents, they had stumbled upon life. Lots of it. Since 1977, dozens of vent sites around the world have been discovered, and hundreds of new species. Huge red-tipped tube worms, white crabs, ghostly fish, plume worms, dandelion siphonophores, amphipods, squat lobsters, strange shrimp with eyes on their backs, even a new octopus. Hydrothermal vents are oases of life in the deep sea, yet they are some of the most extreme environments on Earth. Hydrothermal vents are created when cold water seeps through cracks in the ocean crust and hits hot magma. Superheated water then rises up and bursts through the ocean floor. The water at the vents is hot enough to melt lead. The vents spew toxic chemicals. How can life survive? Scientists were startled by the answer. The key is chemosynthesis, life that gets its energy from chemicals. These chemicals are released by the heat of the Earth's core. At the base of the vent food web are tiny single-celled bacteria and organisms called archaea. These organisms live by converting chemicals, such as hydrogen sulfide, into energy. These heat-loving microbes are thought to be the oldest forms of life on Earth. Chemosynthesis has completely changed the way we think about the origins of life on our planet. It may all have begun without sunlight at a hydrothermal vent at the bottom of the sea.